What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob619 back with another video. In today's video, I'll be discussing John Paul Gaultier's newest release, Elixir. And I'll also share a tip on how to purchase newly released fragrances that have yet to be released here in the US. So to jump right into this video, everybody knows about this brand, everybody knows about this house. I'm sure most of you guys watching have one of the flankers in your collection. And we're talking about the John Paul Gaultier's house. They put a ton of bangers out there. A lot of great fragrances that I enjoy. A lot of people around me seem to enjoy. I got about five or six of them in my collection. And this is the newest release. And this is John Paul Gaultier's Elixir. And right off the rip, you can tell they were going for a theme with this gold bottle. And in my opinion, they were going for that clubbing scent, that one million um, fan base with this one. And I think they hit it out the park. I think they did an exceptional job if that's the you know the crowd the fan base that they were trying to capture i think they did that with this one and when you first spray this fragrance on it's definitely going to remind you of something in that realm of the one million and other fragrances that are along that line um to me this definitely is a great fragrance it's like i'm like 50 50 on it i really do enjoy it but the reason why i say i'm kind of 50 50 on it is because with the kind of collection that i have this scent profile the dna of this i've smelled countless times before but if you don't have these particular fragrances that i'm thinking of in your collection this would definitely be a great pickup for you um this shares obviously the lamal dna that mint and lavender and the biggest the closest uh flanker this is to in my opinion is um ultramol this shares the most of ultramol's dna that's real sweet um it has that bubblegum vibe that i said kind of reminds me of one million it could be one million or one million lucky i can't really think of it right now but one of the one millions that i have it has that same vibe in the opening and then what you're going to get is the ultra mall that kind of sweet uh bubblegumish kind of vibe that you get from ultra mall um great fragrance but like i said it's, it smells like a lot of things we smelled before for a matter of fact okay like i already mentioned you're going to get this you're going to get the one million then you're going to get a little bit of Ultramol. After that, you're going to get this one, which is a banger. You're going to get the cherry, that kind of cherry tobacco vibe from this Pear Hervon. You're going to get in Elixir. And you're also going to get that pipe tobacco, cherry, and the honey. The honey you get from this Naxos, you also get in elixir and a host of other fragrances. i don't feel like picking up all the bottles of my collection but that's why i say this one is pretty good because it's pretty much it takes all some of the best fragrances in the community and they put them all in one bottle but like me if you have all these i just mentioned it's a kind of a redundant purchase but if you don't have any of these and you do like that scent profile that cherry tobacco that one million bubble gum ultra mall anything like that you're going to absolutely love this one what i would say separates this from the rest that i just showed and mentioned is that it has a heavy, heavy honey note. So if you take Ultramol and you really give it a honey note, like an intensified honey note, that's pretty much what you get with this one right here. It definitely performs well, great projection on my skin. Your normal six to eight hours you're gonna get with this. Lasts a little bit longer on clothes. I think this is one of the better performers for me. Out of the flankers, this and, and Ultramol are probably the best performers on my skin. They all pretty much project great off of clothes, but on my skin, this and Ultramol are the best performers. And what separates it, I would say, besides that honey note, the one note around 30 minutes in, or probably a little bit longer, you're going you're gonna to smell something like a chocolate, like a milk, creamy milk chocolate that develops in the mid and that's the one determining like note or factor that separates this from everything else so if you're a chocolate fan with most of these they kind of have a vanilla vibe that i mentioned but with with this elixir it has a milk chocolate vibe so it's more like a prominent honey note and um a subtle milk chocolate vibe with the ultramar with the pervant that cherry kind of vanilla vibe going on so it's a great it's a great scent, but like I said, it may be redundant if you have any of these other ones in your collection. But if you truly love that DNA, this is a great pickup. I don't know what's, uh, what it's going for in the U.S. Um, I bought this about a month ago, actually, so I tried to get it before it hit the U.S. shelves. And I bought this from a place called, like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to give you a tip. I bought this from a place called Sabina. 
And um, this place is, where is this at? It's in Spain. So I purchased this from this company called Sabina in Spain. They gave me a little coupon. Um, I don't know what the price is on this. But bought it in Spain. And to my surprise, it was to my house in like four to five days DHL. I mean, this is pretty much the fastest shipment that I've ever got internationally so if you guys are looking for you know newer release or things that you know aren't here in the u.s or hard to find in the u.s and you know they're somewhere else do a quick google search and try to find some companies and i recommend this one they're not paying me i don't have any sponsorship or anything like that i just did a search found a sabina s-a-b-i-n-a dot com they had it on their site and i think i paid about 75 to 80 dollars usd and um it was in my house four to five days so look outside of your normal, you know, fragrance net and all the stuff we, we all know about here in the U.S. That definitely was a good place I'm going to do business with, you know, in the future. So that's a wrap, guys. Check this one out. This is definitely a great buy. It's one of my top five out of all the flankers. This will definitely be on my collection. It's going to get a lot of wear from me. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Peace.